I can get my head around some of the other things that some people do on Twitch, and there may be an audience somewhere for one person in the whole universe who wants to. Hi, here we go. I'm seeing if I can work out what I'm doing here. Um, hmm. Am I live or am I not live? I here we go. I'm seeing if I can work out doing Well, it says that I'm still live, so here we go. I'm going to shut that window on Twitch. And um, yeah, sorry about the delay. I'm still very much getting, hello, John Paul here. Still very much getting used to doing this on Twitch, trying to uh, just break the, the resistance to even starting it by just doing it occasionally, regularly. So that it, this is the second day in a row that I've done it on Zoom, which I know is imperfect because it means I can't see, um, I can't see uh, any kind of hello or comments or anything at this point. I haven't quite worked out how to do this, but let's see, maybe I will be able to. It looks like I am um, live now on my phone. phone yeah. I have no idea what that means or whether anyone's going to be able to... Uh, message me or anything who knows yeah. right so this is the second day using zoom which is imperfect because it means i can't see anything on my screen except zoom because if i go on to the browser and look at twitch then i get this echo which is horrible um so then i'm going to do one of these live stream of a review of a book on amazon and I'm doing it as usual because my own book, Psalms for the City, which is just out and which I think is really quite good um, and enjoyable, I hope. It's enjoyable for me anyway. Um, the, it got a one star review and it occurred to me that the best way to feel less bruised about that was to go online and make five star reviews of some books I really do love. So I'm going to do that until I run out of motivation for it or run out of books that deserve a five-star review, which is unlikely to be the first thing that happens. And uh, I'm going to keep mentioning my book. I'm also going to mention a thing that I do, which is drawing on Google Street View. So I, uh, I'll probably mention that in the next one because it's too complicated for me to try and get my head around all of this all at once. So to, in the next one of these, note to myself, show some of the going around on Google Street View and drawing on Street View. I might have something here, hang on. Yeah, I have to, there I can just wave it around. So one of the things I've been doing is drawing, I take a screen grab of Street View and draw onto it. This is a picture of a very famous uh, Christian image of Mary being greeted by the angel Gabriel with the news that she's gonna have. Um, going to be the mother of the son of god but i've got others as well which aren't all just on that totally straight scene and um, somewhere in here maybe i don't maybe i don't have them in that portfolio of art I've got pictures of like me walking along the street or relatives walking down the street. I'm going to fold those into this. So it's going to become slightly more magazine style. It's not going to be just, just the book reviews on Amazon. But for the moment, let's keep it all simple so I can get the hang of this. For the moment, what's happening is 
I'm going to do a book review of this one, How to Make a Journal of Your Life by Dan Price. And my copy is published by 10 Speed Press. Um, and I found it in a bookshop in uh, the Quaker bookshop in Houston about I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. Don't really remember. It just, just struck me as a bit odd because there weren't other books like that on the table. It was like, why would there be this illustrated book of how to make a journal of your life? And um, it's illustrated throughout with his own little drawings and some photos. And it's, it's just really charming. That is my opinion. Picture of his old camera, my other thing. Oh, gosh, look, he's also got... I forgot that he'd done that. A picture of, in the middle, in the gutter, he's got a map on how to make little handmade books. And I was doing just that yesterday, so I am making little journals of a person's life or life or something right now. Um, so Dan Price must have been one of the people who got me interested in doing that. Oh boy, I'm really overwhelming everything here, but every Monday afternoon till quite near Christmas, I'm going to be doing some hour long sessions, making handmade books with people. So if you want to find out more, you'll just have to find it somewhere. I'm not going to go on about that. Yeah. So it says, this book is dedicated to my children, Shane and Shiloh and their mother, Lynn, who came up with the idea for it one night in the sweat lodge. And obviously, he's got a picture of that. And um, I like the fact that this book is pocket sized. I mean, it's quite important. Obviously, that's quite important. Very, very handmade. So one of the reasons why I'm doing these at the moment is because I did a writing course the other day. I ran a writing course and co-ran with Elise Falmorbida, who's a brilliant author and teacher. And one of the bits of my contributions was to uh, show people how to make a book out of a single sheet of paper. That's it, just one sheet of paper. And I hesitate normally to do that because it seems to me that it's so small and flimsy and who's going to be impressed with that? And I think people probably don't think that they're going to be impressed until they do it. So the great thing was that they kind of, well, they didn't have to do it, but everyone else was doing it and it was only going to take 15 minutes. So they did it. And the response was really really wonderful because suddenly people could see that there's a choice to be made about how you configure things and what you put in where and and you have to actually do it you can't just think about it and have the perfect thing in your head you just do it and you make one and then it's like okay yeah maybe i'd make it slightly differently and it's absolutely the most powerful way of starting to to create something that could be enormous later could be really big and so, um, yep, I think Dan Price really influenced me on that. Oh my goodness, he really did, look. Here's a page in which he stuck some flowers in. Now, I have done that so many times. I think I've got one lying around here. My flowers have now got very ancient and aged, but at the time I took, I took a photograph of them when they were fresh and brightly coloured, so I still have those. Gosh, every time I pick up this book, I go, oh, he made me think of that. And I hadn't even remembered that Dan Price was behind that. He may not be the only one, maybe other people. Anyway, this book is just so beautifully written to, um, to invite the reader to have a go at something. And it's got its own charm. You know, you could just buy the book and read it and it's like, oh, that's fine. But he also, he kind of cajoles in a very gentle and good natured and funny way and he talks about how you just kind of just have to start so his opening words are has your intuition been telling you to get an empty journal and begin filling it with all the interesting events of your life well time is racing by all those neat things that happened just last week have quickly become your past lost in all that white noise of our fast-paced modern lifestyles now, bear in mind, he wrote this in 19, he published this in 1999. 
well before the pace of our lives got accelerated by smartphones. And I guess what he's doing with this book is kind of creating an invitation to people to Instagram their lives on paper. I guess that's what it is. So he's got a list in here, things about how to write. He's got a very encouraging chapter about just being full of wonder and looking at the world around you and just noticing. So one of his exercises is to get people drawing. It's, it's true, we all really can draw. We just have that old grade school art teacher imprinted on our memories who told us our carefully sketched horse or whatever we were so proud of doesn't look quite right because dot, dot, dot. And Price says, what that teacher failed to recognize and to say is that each of us has a unique signature that directly translates to any drawings that we make. It's these differences that make our own art interesting. So what he often does is ask people to draw a salt cellar. So he's got a little selection of four people's salt cellars here. One of them you can see was done by Eric. And if you just meet someone in a coffee shop and get them to draw a salt cellar, that's the beginning of them sketching. This is one of the things that's so lovely about his book is that it's it's such an open door to just starting with something small and nothing, no big deal. Hmm. Yeah, so as much as anything, it's not just about drawing. It's also a journal of, you know, a day. You might make a diary of a day. You could stick in um, photos. Yeah, I think so. That's a good idea. Here, here's a picture of him with his daughter, Shiloh, who I know is now... Uh, a lot older. I think I once looked him up and I could only find her maybe on Instagram or something. And uh, he's got funny things about how he cuts up the pictures. He's a photographer. I think what I'm going to slightly forget exactly, but I think he, he published a, um, a little, like a zine, but it was sponsored by someone like a shoe company. Where is it? I'm sure it says here somewhere. The Moonlight Chronicles he published. And I think that he had some mild sponsorship thing from it, like a shoe company. But anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? He published these illustrated chronicles and drawings and this and that. There's a recipe in here. There are pages printed on green. There are pages printed on white. There are photographs of pages torn out of the book. There's a photo of one of his children in the bath on which he's written. And uh, I just think that's brilliant. It's got little tips and rules. Nearly the whole book, I think the whole book is handwritten. There may be something, let's have a look. Is there anything that's like typeset? I think it's all handwritten. Yes, so there we go. Now, why would I mention this book? Of all the books that I could mention, I could say, the first book I reviewed in this series was not, uh, in the end, it didn't actually go live on Twitch, but somehow I saved it on my computer. So I've posted it somewhere, I think on YouTube. And then, this, and that was a review of a big, beautiful, lavishly illustrated book. And I'm an illustrator. So that was kind of my focus was on the illustrating side. Yesterday, the first uh, live stream book review I did was of 52 ways of looking at a poem. I think that's the exact title. Might have got it slightly wrong by Ruth Padell. Great book, lovely, lovely book about poetry and why poetry is fun and enjoyable and important and interesting and some different ways in which it works. So that's also important because my book, Songs for the City, contains my first published poems. So why am I publishing, how to make, why am I now reviewing third book, How to Make a Journal of Your Life? Because I think that my book is in some ways a journal. And I think it's really important to highlight the fact that 
what I chose as a structure of the Psalms, but I wrote my own Psalms and drawings of places around where I live, the places that I call home. It was kind of a, a journal. So that's why I'm focusing on Dan Price's How to Make a Journal of Your Life. I shall now go over to sharing a screen and go on to Amazon. I can't wait to find out how to do this better so that I don't, I, I could probably screen share more interestingly and actually you'd, you'd see more and it would be better. I could, if I set up Twitch properly it, and didn't just use Zoom. But anyway, this is where I am now. If you have any ideas how I can improve that, that would be great. Look, 103 ratings, only four stars, how bizarre. Gosh, there's quite a lot of four. I'm amazed there weren't more high. Look at that. Um, oh, look, Kindle version works great on an iPad. Well, that's good. Didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of these because it will contaminate my thinking, definitely. Write a custom review. Five star. This book. This book. Changed how I approach creativity or creative work oh yeah they want a photo okay um, here we go let's take one on computer it takes too long doing all this um juggling about where's the thing where you just take a photo on my computer Hmm. Suppose if I if I just um if I just go uh, no that's no good um oh, I probably can't because I'm using the camera for this okay I have to use my phone. And I am going to take it this way. One of those will do, I'm sure. Right. Sent that to myself. I can now um, go back to Twitch. Um, there's the photo. No, you can't see it yet. Just going to export it as a JPEG and price book. What do I like with this like? Pick this up in a real life bookshop and flick through it before buying. I don't know if that makes all the difference, but I think it helped. I could see at once that I would enjoy. No, I was pulled in immediately by the 
good-natured voice of the author and the hand drawn, hand written text throughout. I liked his use of two colors, black, black and green. I love his combination of photos and illustrations. I warmed immediately to the tone, to the sense that he truly believes we can all produce something equally equally personal and engaging. I also like the size of this book, just right to fit in the back of my back pocket of my jeans. He published it before smartphones came along and made our lives so much faster and more distracted. But what he is proposing in the book is not but not but what he's proposing. Even so, he recognized at the time that we can be so we can be terribly on um, focused and terribly distracted. Making a journal is a way to be grounded and to notice what matters to us. He, without making a big fuss of it, he slips into his book several things that I realize now I have copied from him. Making my own and made books. Um, collaging. Drawing on photos. I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't want to read all the other reviews here because I glimpsed a couple that seemed a little ungenerous and didn't want to be put off. I saw somebody say that this book is dated. I suppose that means, I suppose that they may have been thinking of the advent of smart phones and apps, etc., etc. But to me, that's another reason to love this book. Hmm. It's for anybody who wants to 
start putting things down on paper because those things matter to them and it's for anybody who lacks in inspiration Anybody who, with that in mind, lacks inspiration, and it's for anybody who wants, who might want a bit more, a bit of encouragement. Going back a bit now, overviewer, if you're still there. I've published seven books properly with real publishers, but the things in, but the ideas I gained from Dan Price are the, the are some of the most valuable. I picked up anywhere, ever. They help me to feel excited and enthusiastic about business of, about writing and drawing. Something that might easily be lost over time as any author will struggle occasionally with the demands and disappointments of commercial publishing. This book keeps me loving it but as it happens i have also introduced this book to another author more prolific than i am and he too was changed by it he now tribute he now publishes a reg regular limited edition journal, much like and voices a little like and voices what they call moonlight chronicles. Okay, brilliant. Right now, I do uh, always go on about this at writing courses. Don't remember it enough myself. It would be remiss of me while recording a video not to read back what I've written so that I'm doing what I encourage other people to do. I had a headline. This book changed how I approach all creative work. I picked this up in a real life bookshop and flicked through it before buying. I don't know if that makes all the difference, but I think it helped. I was pulled in immediately by the good-natured voice of the author and the handwritten text throughout. I liked his use of two colours, black and green. I liked his combination of photos and illustrations. I warmed immediately to the sense that he truly believes we can all produce something equally personal and engaging. I also liked the size of this book, just right to fit in the back pocket of my jeans. He published it before smartphones came along, no, but price, not he. Price, Dan Price, Price sounds a bit unfriendly. Dan Price published it before smartphones came along and made our lives so much faster and more distracted. Even so, he recognised 
at the time that, no, well, even then, he argued. Now, even then, he recognized we, we could be, could, um, even then, he recognized more than in life could make us terribly distracted. Uh, not more than life. We were liable, even then he recognized we were liable to be calm, terribly distracted. Making a journal is a way to be grounded and to notice what matters to us. Without a big fuss, he slipped into his book several things that I realize now I have copied from him. With the benefit of several years on insight, I have since copied. Making my own handmade books, sticking leaves and flowers into them, drawing on photos and much more. As it happens, I have published seven books properly with real publishers, but the ideas I gained from Dan Price are some of the most valuable I picked up anywhere ever. They helped me to feel excited about writing and drawing, something that might easily be lost over time as any author will struggle occasionally with the demands and disappointments of commercial publishing. I've also introduced this book to another author more prolific than I am, and he too was changed by it. He now publishes a regular limited edition journal some, somewhat like Dan Price's Moonlight Chronicles. I didn't want to read all the other reviews here on Emerson because I glimpsed a couple that seemed a little ungenerous and didn't want to be put off. I saw somebody say that Price's book is dated. I suppose they may have been thinking of the advent of smartphones and apps, et cetera, et cetera. But to me, that's another reason to love this book. How to make a journal of your life is for anybody who wants to stop putting things down on paper because those things matter to them. It's for anybody who, with that in mind, lacks inspiration. And it's for anybody who might want a bit of encouragement. Submit. Review submitted. Thank you. We are processing your review. This might take several days, so we appreciate your patience. That's all from me. And I don't know how long I've been this time, but um, thank you for being here and for watching if you have. And well, if you haven't, no thanks to you for not watching. It might 